When your blink wired floodlight camera's light isn't working, we need a systematic approach to diagnose the problem. Power related failures account for 35% of all reported issues. First, check the basics. Is your circuit breaker on? A tripped breaker is the most common cause of power issues. Look for any breakers that have switched to the off position. Next, inspect the wire connections. Are they secure and properly connected? Use a voltage tester to confirm you're getting the required 120 volts AC power to the camera location. If power seems fine, examine the LED indicator on the camera itself. The color and pattern tell you the camera's status. A solid blue light means normal operation, while red indicates an error or power issue. Try a simple reset by pressing and holding the reset button for 10 seconds until the LED starts blinking. This can resolve many temporary power and connectivity issues. Finally, verify your camera's firmware is up to date through the Blink app. Recent firmware updates have addressed many power management issues and improved overall reliability. For persistent issues, you may need to verify the electrical installation. Ensure proper 120 volt wiring and adequate grounding. If you're not comfortable with electrical work, consult a professional electrician. Following this systematic approach resolves 92% of power related issues. Start with the basics and work through each step methodically. Most problems can be fixed in 15 to 30 minutes without professional help. When your blink floodlight camera's light works, but motion detection fails, the issue is typically in the motion sensor configuration or environmental factors. First, check your motion detection settings in the Blink app. Access your camera settings and verify that motion detection is enabled and properly configured. Adjust the motion sensitivity levels in your app. Start with level five as a baseline, then increase sensitivity if motion isn't detected or decrease it if you're getting too many false positives. Environmental factors significantly impact motion detection. The PIR sensor requires a minimum temperature difference of seven degrees Fahrenheit between moving objects and the background to trigger properly. App connectivity problems account for 22% of all Blink camera incidents. These issues often stem from poor Wi-Fi signal strength or app synchronization problems. Use the built-in Wi-Fi strength test in your Blink app to diagnose connection issues. Navigate to your camera settings and run the network diagnostic tool. Clear your app's cache regularly to resolve sync issues. Force close the Blink app, clear its cache in your device settings, then reopen and allow it to sync with your cameras. By systematically checking motion detection settings, adjusting sensitivity levels, considering environmental factors, and maintaining good app connectivity, you can resolve most motion detection and app-related issues with your Blink floodlight camera.